Here we'll do the mesh refinement to evaluate the level of numerical error. Exit out of mechanical and go back to the project page and right click on model and say duplicate. And that duplicates the model and everything um, downstream of it, but things upstream like geometry and engineering data it's just you know referencing the original val um, original geometry and original engineering data. So I can't modify this geometry engineering data. I've gone and modified this, and it'll affect this as well as that. And I'll call that project mesh two. I'll call this mesh one. I'll use a right click on that. Use capital M and Right, double click on model and I'll go into mesh and all I'll do is I will change the sizing um, so the original sizing you know each element um, edge was 0.25 so I'll I'll use half of that so I'll say equal to 0.25 divided by 2 sorry Okay, that's the value I was looking for, 0.125, and I'll say update the mesh. And since I have, uh, if I look at the mesh, I'll have um, twice the number of elements in this direction and twice the number of elements in this direction. So totally I'll have four times the number of elements, and I can check that under mesh statistics over here. Okay, now I have 128 elements and 433 nodes. And if I click on solve, ANSYS will regenerate the algebraic equations and determine the, the 433 nodal temperatures. And it'll also do the post-processing that we had requested. And I can go and look at the temperature and compare that to, you know, I can save a snapshot and compare it to the original temperature distribution. I can do the same thing for the heat flux. In fact, I can see that the heat flux um, at the at you know at the insulated boundaries has gone down um, by quite a bit. So my natural con boundary condition is being satisfied um, better and better, which is uh, what I would expect. Um, but I'll let you compare you know the the temperature contour side by side, the heat flux side by side, and also the reactions how they change as you refine the mesh. And that brings us to the end of this, uh, this module. So I'll go to, I'll, I will exit out of here and I'll say file save. And at this point I'll say file, archive, and I'll go back to my original archive and I'll say save and I'll replace it and I'll save my results because in this case, it's not going to give me a very big file. And if you go back to the WB, you know, to your folder, you'll see that it's overwritten the WBPZ file, and you can save that to a flash drive or a network drive if you are in a public, on a public computer. That brings us to the end of the, um, the conduction module and in the process, we have explored some really fundamental ideas in, in finite element and how you, know, you implement it using ANSYS.